Hey, how's it going everybody? So, today what I'm gonna do is show off my Back to the Future collection. Anyway, um, so <laughs> I was just like going through all my collection stuff, pulling stuff out and cleaning things, organizing, and uh, I realized I have a ton of Back to the Future stuff, and most of it I'm not even displaying because, um, I'm working on the, the walls. I'm gonna have a big old collection room wall behind me there soon. Uh, but for now, I figured I'm gonna maybe make little collection videos of my different collections. So I'm gonna start off with Back to the Future. And uh, I set up my table. I uh, hope you guys have some time. This one's gonna be probably not crazy long, but definitely I'm gonna take my time, show things off a little bit. And um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I have a lot of stuff. I have uh, memorabilia. I have things signed by Christopher Lloyd and uh, etc. But uh, I'm not going to keep making this super long so that you guys can just enjoy this stuff. I'm going to set up this camera on the tripod and uh, flip this around. And hopefully uh, this will be fun for y'all. i um, going to tell some stories. Maybe tell you where I got things or who I got them from. But uh, yeah, this collection is probably over two decades old, so uh, Back to the Future is one of my favorite movies, uh, trilogies, so uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's do this. Hope you guys like it. All right, everybody, uh, got this thing ready. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to start putting stuff up that kind of is going to be in the background, so um, let's see, I think I'm going to start with Pretty much the last thing I picked up, which is uh, this Back to the Future album. It is, uh, man, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty far, man. I need to rearrange stuff here. But uh, the cool thing about this is, uh, probably need to zoom out. No, that's zooming in. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, wow, that totally ruins everything. But anywho. This record is really neat. I uh, got this at the flea market, actually. I think uh, my buddy Matt might have helped me pick this up. But anyway, this is um, The Power of Love's on here. Huey Lewis and the News. It's a bit of a... Let's see. Pop this open. I don't think there's a, a scratch on it. You know what, I think I need to uh, reset this camera because I need to see what I'm looking at here. Dang it. Hold on a second, guys. Yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> you can actually look at things. But anyway, not going to spend too much time on this thing. Just because there's a ton of things. But uh, I also, I used to have uh, laser discs. But... Um, I sold those to a friend just because, you know, they would only act as background in my collection and I'd rather not, you know, not do that. I don't really need, like, too much filler stuff. Alright, let's see. What else can I put in the back? Yeah. Alright, my Blu-rays and my DVDs. This will be interesting. Let's start off with VHSs. I got this really sweet box set. So you have your Back to the Future 1, Back to the Future 2, The Secrets of Back to the Future Trilogy. I'm sure that's on all the Blu-rays nowadays. But uh, let's see, there's your cover of Back to the Future 1. Back to the Future 2. And of course 3. Now a lot of people will probably want to ask me which one's your favorite. I honestly... They're, they're all one movie broken into three parts. I don't really have a favorite. Um, 
I mean, as a kid, I've always been partial to the second one. Just because of all the futuristic stuff. It was pretty, you know, pretty neat. So yeah, there you go. There's my VHS. Put that back in the sleeve. Yeah, that's dusty. Sorry, like I said, I've been um, digging this stuff out of my shelves and <laughs> bins just to kind of document my my situation here. So yeah, we'll put that back there. All right, next up, this I recently also recently got from a buddy of mine, Jeremy. He's uh, he lives in Japan uh, with his family and. Uh, uh, his YouTube channel is Tokyo Toy Bastard. Check him out. But um, he had this, uh, and I had to have it, man. I forget the special thing about it, but I think it has like um, what's that say over there? Pre-recorded VCT use only. I don't know what that means. But I think he told me that it has uh, two audio tracks, like uh, English and Japanese, and it's like a very interesting technology to uh, for that to work. But anyway, I don't recall. Jeremy, man, if you get on this, let me know what the special thing was. But for me, I just absolutely love anything from Japan, and uh, I just love the Japanese writing on this thing i think it's neat so the box is cool obviously <laughs> all right uh, next my stack of dvds and blu-rays i'll go through these quick quicker not really gonna open them but there's your um this one uh, the dvd one came out a while ago let's see what's the year on this i think it was pre pre 2019 it was for a certain uh, where's it say? I don't think it matters, right? Most of you probably know. But anyway, this was really cool. I love the lenticularness of it. <laughs> uh, when I picked this up at Best Buy, I remember I had to wait in line to pick this up. And, um, man, uh, I must have watched the special features for a whole week. I was so in love with it. All right. Then, of course, the Blu-ray came out on the 25th anniversary. This is really neat. Oh. Packed with behind-the-scenes, special features. Uh, it has the, uh, the ride you can watch. I really wanted to pick up... Um, well, I'll tell you about that when I get to it. That's pretty cool. Nobody's a fan of how they stacked the DVDs and Blu-rays in there, because it's kind of you kind of have to bend and warp the discs themselves to get to them. But whatever. All right, there's that. Then I got this steel book. I believe this was a Target exclusive. Um, I already scratched it up somewhere. Yeah, on the back here. Really regret that. I would love to pick one up that's sealed so I can, you know, there, that's, isn't that awesome? Freaking dope. But yeah, there's all your, everything in here, bonus disc, pretty much the same as what's in there. Oh, there you go, only a target. I usually save the stickers. But yeah, this is cool. Um, I really wanted to pick up the Best Buy exclusive, which looked like the flux capacitor, which lit up and everything, and it had like all sorts of awesome stuff in there. But uh, I think it was like a hundred dollars, so I was like, nah. <sighs> then you have the animated series. Maggie picked this up for me for my birthday. Uh, it came from Amazon, so naturally they broke something broke <laughs> the plastic case somewhere i don't remember but yeah this thing keeps sliding out you yeah, love the animated series actually i really enjoyed it really good stuff rewatched the whole thing as well so yeah and i think oh yeah there's more video games down to video games <laughs> ps3 um i started playing this um i 
didn't really get into it. Um, I might give it another chance one day, I don't know. But um, it seemed fun. It kind of takes picks up right after um, the movies and it takes you onto a ton of alternate timelines and all sorts of whatever. Uh, I don't know, I didn't really get into it, but uh, apparently Michael J. J. Fox makes a, an appearance in it, a little cameo. But yeah, one day. One day. Alright, next, what video games? Guys, I have a ton of stuff, so I keep trying to tell you all. <laughs> be ready for that, there's going to be a lot of stuff happening. Alright, on to uh, NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. We have this one, not that good of a game, honestly. I think the Japanese version of Back to the Future, totally different game and totally awesome. Um, I'll have to talk to uh, Tokyo Toy Bastard about acquiring that one. I don't. I think it was for the Famicom or the the Super NES version. <sighs> and of course, I have the two and three. The horse. Uh, there's a horse part that reminds me of a. Uh, Revenge of Shinobi 3, where you kind of just run on a horse and dodge obstacles, but the artwork's amazing. Like everything you see here, basically I use as background for when I set up my Back to the Future collection. So, pretty much what I'm doing now, I guess. I don't know. Alright, next, 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 next. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, you guys might enjoy this. Let me get the dust off of it. Check this out. So I made this. These are all Hot Wheels. Here, let me move back a little bit. There we go. These are all Hot Wheels um, that I've mounted safely. They can all be removed. I used uh, non-toxic glue on the little stands that I made. But uh, But yeah. You have all the versions. I'm pretty sure I have most of them. There might be maybe a couple Hot Wheels versions I'm missing. But uh, these are all DeLoreans, including the Back to the Future ones right there. The hover mode and regular. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, dust. <laughs> there you go. I've actually taken this, I'm so happy no one bought it, but I've taken this to a couple of my shows and, uh, and market sales, and uh, I had a $150 list on this, and uh, a couple people offered me, like, I'll give you 100 or 120 I was like, no, it's going to take way longer just to recollect all of these, just to remake this, so they're all mint condition too, so I definitely declined those offers. All right, let's put that over here. Cool. There we go. All right, next. This, uh-oh, oh, whatever. These I actually hoarded back in the day when I went to college. <laughs> These are all of the original release Hot Wheels DeLoreans. I just kind of stacked them together. Yes, I have two full of these. <laughs> so yeah, I army built all these DeLoreans. How crazy is that? They look amazing though, hung up. Uh, once you hang them up, like on a wall. Just something about the repetition of them. That's kind of neat. There you go. Am I right? <laughs> so yeah. I was kind of thinking one day making like an art project out of them or whatever, but you know what? I think that's it right there. I'll just leave it at that, you know? All right. I'm going to put these down just for room because there's going to be a ton of stuff coming. All right. Yes, still. All right. This I got at a, let's see, this I picked up at a Comic-Con. Omakase images. Let's see, did he write any of his? No. But yeah, check them out. I'll put a little link right here, hopefully, when I'm editing this. You guys can check check out his website, but he does all sorts of um, uh, pop culture people. 
and makes them saints and puts them on these prayer candles. So I had to get Emmett. <laughs> Naturally. Cool. Alright. Let's see. Next up, not gonna spend too much time on these. I got these pops. So a bunch of new ones actually just came out, but because of the quarantine situation, um, I can't pick them up. There's um, actually um, the Clock Tower pop that I really want to get, and a couple of Marty pops. There, there's a ton of these, so unfortunately, can't pick them up. And that's the second one. The Loot Crate exclusive, Dr. Emmett Brown, with like a battery. Let's see, I actually have him out of box as well. There he is. Really nice. I'm not huge into pops, but, you know, some pops are nice. This one has a lot of details. I love the goggles. All that fun stuff. All right. Let's stick with these vinyl things. All right. We have... Dorb's Rides. Look at that. How cool is that? You got Einstein there. So much better than the Pops one. I, I also have that. I'll show you. But yeah, I'm keeping these in the box because the Dorb's ones were a little bit more harder to find. Let's see. Yeah, he's fine there. I also have Marty in the Dorbs box. And of course, Doc Brown. They're just cute, man. <laughs> there. Okay. Then I forget what these were called. They're also from Funko. Uh, something vinyl, whatever. But yeah, you got Doc Brown, and you got Marty right there. Let me back this thing up a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Alright, Doc right there. I'm trying to uh, keep this moving a little bit. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. All right, a little bit of vintage stuff. Let's get to these guys. Got the Texaco Micro Machines gas station. Put this bad boy right there. And of course, show you I got one of these. I used to have a set in, child, in my childhood. Whoop. So one of these is actually something I've saved since uh, the 90s. And I lost the other DeLorean, but uh, one day I actually, uh, at a Wizard World Comic Con, I bought a set, so I got two of these and the uh, actual Texaco thing, but how cool is it? Come on. There he is. Oh, Micro Machine. Love it, man. Something about these things in miniature. That's just awesome. Yeah, there we go. All three. <laughs> Gonna battle with the focus. Alright, put those there. There we go. Alright. Whew, next up is just a Rubik's Cube from my childhood. Looks good with the collection because it's 80s, you know. Uh, Alright, there's there's a lot more guys. Um alright, I have this Texaco tin. Uh this is not affiliated with you know the movie, but obviously Texaco gas station right there. But uh this was let's see collectibles and marketing licensed product. I don't even know. It says New Jersey on there. But they were probably they probably had, uh, like, mints or something in there. I don't know. 
again, something good for background in a collection, you know. Just lean it up against the wall and there it is, you know. <sighs> Alright, hold on. I know it doesn't matter or whatever, but I need to make this look a little bit more professional. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Uh, let's see. Ah, this came out of a loot crate. Little coasters. So let me show you what they look like. Cafe the 80, Cafe the 80s. So let's see, we have Visit Hill Valley. Your future is here. Then we have half pepperoni, half green peppers. The pizza thing. Uh, ooh, this is like a big uh, casino chip. Biff's Pleasure Paradise, $500. All right, and one more thing, the flux capacitor, shield eyes from late. Just little tchotchkes, you know. All right, let's see, what's next, what's next? Uh, all right, there's a lot more smaller stuff, but let me show you some of my better things. All right, uh, I think I had the battery turned off, but it's okay. Here we have this giant Back to the Future DeLorean, signed by Christopher Lloyd. Went to uh, Comic-Con with my lady Maggie and uh, got to meet him, shook his hand. I uh, have a picture somewhere of it, but uh, literally me holding this and him next to me. It was a really good day, naturally. I was super happy about that. But yeah, sorry, I took the batteries out, you know, so that they don't leak and destroy this whole thing. But yeah, this is one of my prized possessions. Absolutely love this one. So let's put that right there. Let's not fall off. <laughs> Yeah, that's safer probably, right there. There we go. Okay, let's see. Oh, I told you about the Funko thing. Since the Dorbs rides thing kind of sucks. Here's the, the Funko Pop one. As you can see, like, it's really, it's all dented right there in the middle. The, like, look how bad there's a scratch, a ton of scratches there. I didn't put those there. That's how it came out of the, the thing. It's all denty and just just bad. The paint applications are kind of awful. But, you know, compared to uh, the Dorbs one, which is almost flawless back there. You know, like, whatever. It's still good. I have my uh, my Marty right here. Pops right in. Still looks great. Yeah. Let's see, I'll put them up here. Alright, uh, let's get to some of my uh, more DeLoreans. This bad boy I put together myself. It was uh, in a kit. I did not bother to paint any of this stuff on the back there. That's why it's like gray plasticky stuff. Nothing's detailed. Focus, please. Thank you. So yeah, doors don't open. Uh, but I like it. It comes with the antenna part. Um, I have that put away for now so I don't damage it or break it. But uh, I'll attach that once I display my entire collection on the wall behind me. Man, I'm getting like, shaky here. Alright, let's put this bad boy here. Whoa. There we go. Uh, so he's more visible. Put him back here. There we go. All right, next up. This is one of the newer things I got. I think the batteries, yeah, the batteries are in here. I uh, just need to figure out where the button is. But uh, here it is. This bad boy, uh, the other thing I just showed you, it's all plastic. This is all metal. Well, mostly die-cast. This is from Jada Toys. 
picked this up at the flea market for about 20 bucks, something like that. But let me show you. The wheels actually... Con uh, where's the button? I totally like forgot where all these buttons are. Okay, so the wheels that you just kind of do this. Yeah. There we go. And now it's back to the future too. Freaking awesome, man. Love it. All right, now let me try to remember where... The oh, there it is. Yeah, how cool is that? can love it the big one right there the autographed one right there <laughs> that one lights up as well but like I said I took the batteries out so pretty much this but the other one does void like noises beeps you know uh, flux capacitor sounds so cool yes the door is open but yeah again this is Jada this is brand new I think literally either 2019 or 2020 so, I try not to, I'm more of an out-of-box collector, as you can tell, but some things I, I tend to keep in boxes. But yeah, Jada 124 scale. Check it out if you're looking for one. There. Alright, now my 118 scale cars. These guys were a little more pricey. They're much bigger. Very heavy. Um... As you can see, like, I've got a broken mirror there, unfortunately. Mr. Fusion's broken. Um, I got this at the flea market. Well, my dad picked this up at the flea market. I believe he paid $5. So, you know what? Not bad. This one actually has a little lever down here. There we go. And it's converted. Man, I love these toys so much. So cool. All right, so yeah, 118. All right, put that down right there. All right, there's one more 118 scale. Let me get it out of the case. This one I tend to protect a little more. This one I got as a gift from my cousin. It came all the way from uh, the Czech Republic. This is the Back to the Future 3-1 can tell by the awesome hood detail and the train track wheels very detailed very very freaking heavy too but yeah nothing broken on this one I always baby this one a lot you know it's family so cool thank you Andre my cousin's name is Andre. <laughs> uh, let's see. I really don't know where else to put these now. Let's hope nothing falls down. Okay. As you can see, we're filling it up quite nicely here. Jeez. There. A little, a little less glare. All right. Let's continue with the filling of table. I'm going to dip that down a little bit. Okay. <sighs> this bad boy was a promotional item. This is obviously something more vintagey. Literally a promotional thing uh, from Universal. I guess you could buy this at Universal Studios when they had Back to the Future the Ride for four ninety five. What's it say down here? Yeah, Universal Studios. You drive joint venture, whatever. I guess this is like a pullback. Oh no, just a wind up. There we go. <laughs> Focus. Cool. So yeah, got a little, you know, logo right there. Still nicely painted. I mean, for five bucks, that's not bad, right? Universal Studios. Nice little tchotchka. Oh, that probably like sparkles. Hold on a second. Yeah, that does. Now, hold on, hold on. Let me try to show you this. 
There you go. You saw that. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. This was a McDonald's toy from the animated series. Also one of those wind-up things. Focus, please. Just a beautifully colored thing from, let's see, what's the year we have here? 1991. Awesome. The year I came to Canada from Ukraine. 91. Let's see. Yeah, I was 11. Jeez. Cool. Another vintage piece. I have another one also from McDonald's. You guys might have seen this one. It's dark brown. This one also like sparkles. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't sparkle anymore. <laughs> but nonetheless, cool little toy. Dusty, of course. Gotta love it. At one point I had like 10 of these. Then I went through my min minimalism phase and just kept one of everything that I want. I highly recommend everyone do that. Except you saw my Hot Wheels army building crap. <laughs> Alright, here's another little fun thing. Martin McFly, California license, driver's license. Just a neat thing. I think I got this at a Comic-Con too. This little double-sided tape. It's metal. So, also another good thing for background stuff, you know. Alright. Ah, this was also from Loot Crate. Some of you might have this. It's a hoverboard on a little mirror. It came in a beautiful little box with a certificate of Authenticity or whatever, 2015. Also, how cool is it that this came out in 2015? So, yeah, another one of those things I just put in the back and it looks freaking awesome. Love it. Okay. Cool. Now, this is one of the more recent things. Hot Wheels ID. Let's see... Yeah, so I have one out. I'll show it to you in a second when I show you some more uh, smaller Back to the Future 164 scale cars. But this is how you see it in a store. That's like uh, all this stuff. I am not buying the reader for this because it's like $40 and I really don't care. The only ones I bought from this line were this car and Kit, you know, from Knight Rider. But yeah, there's the little chip in there. So yeah, I got two, naturally. One for in-box, one for out-of-box. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's see. These are just uh, some Hot Wheels that I saved in package. Uh, what are these? These are all hover mode, yeah. But they're all different, so... In one way or another. Whatevs. No big deal. Uh, da, 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 da. Then I have this little Pop Mini keychain of Marty on a hoverboard. Focus, please. Thank you. So that's kind of neat. Usually just hang it somewhere, whatever. Really have no room on my keys to dangle things like that. Alright. Another neat promotional item this was a uh, no idea what it is I think my buddy Dan um, from the flea market I guess sea spray Dan it's hard to tell who's who because I know like 20 Dan's but anyway you know a little basic thing it really doesn't do anything yeah I guess it's another wind up but Probably another promotional item, you know? Yeah, Universal Studios, you drive. So, that's it. Not one of the best <laughs> things. Okay. Next, 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 next. Jeez, let's back this up a little more, huh? There we go. 
<sighs> the collection is huge. Alright, let's take a look at some of these. These are some of my like higher quality Hot Wheels. Uh, that's just a BMW. It's more or less, it just basically looks like a DeLorean. But uh, it's like one of those Hot Wheels. What's it say here? Hot Wheels Mattel 1982. Yeah. Mostly based on a BMW, I think. But anyway, here's another regular Hot Wheels. There's so many variants, like the windows have different shades. There's like darker black. There's clear. This one's like a bluish tint. But yeah. Alright, let's get to the nicer ones. Here we have... It's a ZEE -E, uh, brand. This one is a DeLorean. Not a Hot Wheels, but you know, 164 scale. There you go. DeLorean. Got your gold wing doors that open up. Focus, please. Thank you. You know, nothing crazy. But if you collect stuff like this, you pretty much need one of these. <laughs> cool. All right. Next. All right. Here is a all metal, metal base, metal top. Everything's metal on this thing except the window. This is a Hot Wheels, uh, let's see, uh, 2014, I think it was like Boulevard or Movie Moments, it comes with like a really nice little stand here, there we go, so yeah, cool, cool. Here's a, uh, also another higher quality one rubber wheels everything metal on it also from hot wheels like huge difference between that and like basic you know basic release where it's just plastic base plastic wheels weird rims or more paint on it but you know Still, basic one's pretty nice, too. Alright. Again. Here's Back to the Future 3 with the white walls. Rubber tires. Everything metal. Really nice. I love every single thing here. <laughs> okay. There's another Back to the Future 3. On uh, train track wheels. You guessed it, everything's metal on here. <laughs> Alright. Ah, here we go. That, um, this ID thing I showed you. The Hot Wheels ID. So, here's the one that's out of box. As you can see, it has, like, really nice wheel graphics on the wheels there. There's your chip. So, another nice variation to have at a time. Cool. Uh, let's see, what's this? Alright, these are some more of the basic ones. You got the hover mode and regular. Except uh, this one has some more paint applications on it, I believe. Don't remember. A lot of variations. This is a custom one I made. <laughs> it's a red DeLorean with, you know, the conversion for in the back there to make it look like it's a time machine. I also did it to a black version of it right there. And a gold version right there. So, there you go. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so. What else do I have that I need to show you guys? Got that done. Well, probably let's focus on what we're looking at there. But 
go. Okay, I think I think that's it. Unless I'm missing something. Let's see. No, that's that's about it for now. I'm sure there's a couple more things I'm missing to show you guys. I'm sure. Uh, oh yeah, I have a whole stack of uh, comic books. Um, if you want to stick around for that, I'll show you those uh, real quick. Nothing big, but you know, might as well show that off. It is my Back to the Future collection. But uh, you know, um, so far this is it. I like I said, I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff as well because I really don't want to hoard too much things but this collection will keep growing it'll keep getting bigger um this is one of those things that i really love like back to the future stuff is that's just where it's at for me so just giving you a little bit of a flyby here of everything but uh yeah stick around if you want to check out what i have uh, from the comic books. There's some really beautifully drawn covers and uh, I'll do it right here on the table. Show it all off for you guys. All right, give me one second. If you don't care about comics, thanks for tuning in and watching all this. But uh, all right, let's take a look at the books. Okay guys, let's check these out. There aren't too many, but uh, let's just do this real quick. In no particular order, I just picked these out of my short box. So we have Back to the Future number four. Very nice cover with Doc and his family with the train. There's another variant of number four. Number three. <laughs> what are you looking at, butthead? Very nice. Another variant of number three. Oh yeah, guys, stick around. In the end, I'll show you uh, my 3D comic book collage that I made of Back to the Future. And I had Bob Gale sign it for me at Wizard World Comic Con. Oh. Number two. Another number two. There were so many variants. I obviously don't have a complete collection of these, sadly. But what I have, I like. This one's neat. It opens up to, like, see the whole, you know, DeLorean. <sighs> Another number two. Same as that one, only no color. Kind of silly. There we go. Good old number one. Awesome cover right there. Got the Libyans over there in the back. Another variant of number one. Alright, and then they actually made a Biff to the future where it's like a side story about Biff and, you know, his story. So there's your number one. And number two. Ah, the famous scene, number three. Number four. And number five. I don't remember if they made more, but I stopped at five. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's it right there, guys. Guys and dolls. So yeah, that's about it. Alright, let me flip this around and say bye to you all. Alright, we got the top-down view. <laughs> so yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my crazy collection of Back to the Future stuff. Um, yes, there's still stuff that I'm not sure in my house that I have. I have like more posters. I have more like little um, stickers, um, just a bunch of little other knickknacks that I'm not sure where it's at right now, just because of uh, uh, the state that my collection room is in. So um, I just, um, you know, found what I could find. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this. Um, 
I enjoyed this stuff daily. I love every single piece here. Um, uh, I don't regret selling the laser discs, but they were a nice thing to have, kind of like the record, just to put behind, you know, on a shelf and then put a bunch of toys in front of it, just to kind of fill it all in. But um, it's I don't really regret it. I just kind of missed them. And plus, they're like 10 bucks each. I can find those. And at the very most, I might pick up uh, the laser discs from my boy Jeremy in Tokyo in, in Japan. Um, just with the Japanese covers because I really love that uh, VHS right there. I, I just love that stuff. I don't know. So, but yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to take off and I'm going to do another flyby for you guys of everything. A little overview if you want to look at it again. Uh, if not, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll see you all in the future. Haha, -ha. see what I did there? <laughs> all right. Peace, everybody. Uh, collect what you love and don't hoard unnecessary crap. Peace and love. Bye. Okay, guys. This is my 3D collage that I made years ago. Um, let's see. There's a whole story behind this. Um, how I got the signature of Bob Gale up there and... Uh, uh, who I met during that day, but it was Wizard World Comic Con. Here, let me get closer for you. It was Wizard World, World Comic Con 2016, right there. <laughs> Good old Bob Gale. He was uh, signing, and uh, he had his own little booth, and meeting people, and signing autographs, stuff like that. So, um, let's see. Let me just give you a quick little overview of it, then I'll keep talking. Every single thing here is out of actual comic books, like the ones I just showed you. Nothing was copied, nothing was printed out. You got some Legos right there. A hoverboard. There's a couple of things from older comic books in here, intertwined. Got the flux capacitor. This used to... Let's see. Oh. There, it's from a Yahtzee, so if you shake it the right way, it starts to flux. But I'm not going to destroy my piece just to show you that. But uh, there we go. I actually converted that to a <laughs> hover mode myself. Just stuck a bunch of stuff on there, on tires. But yeah, this piece, I always have a not for sale sign on it for $2,000 because if anyone buys this piece, um, pretty much half of that money will go to, uh, to the Fox Foundation for Parkinson's. So, so far, I had a $1,500 offer which I declined because I was like, well, you know, anyway, it doesn't need to be said. But uh, let's see, let me tell you a story. Uh, it was Wizard World Comic Con. I was selling my, uh, in Artist Alley, selling my collages. Uh, I had a lot of them and uh, sold a bunch. It was a very good show. Um, at the time, there was a, if, look him up, his name is Paul Brown. Awesome, awesome dude, uh, good head on his shoulders and all that good stuff. But uh, at the time he had a show, which is still actually on YouTube. It's called uh, Comic Trips, uh, where him and his girlfriend uh, at the time were taking trips to different comic book stores and just uh, flea markets and stuff like that and uh, documented them collecting uh, their collections. So uh, I was a huge fan. Uh, still am, they just don't make videos anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, I met Paul Brown there and gave him another uh, comic book collage that I made. Uh, I gave that one to him as a gift and uh, the guy was, he really liked it. <laughs> and uh, he literally went out real quick and bought tickets to go meet Bob Gale. And me and him, he just dragged me with him. He's like, come on, Naz, let's go, let's go. Uh, he took me there, I took this collage with me, and he's like, let's show it to him, and stuff like that. And uh, I got to meet Bob Gale because I met 
Paul Brown. <laughs> so that was really cool. And uh, yeah, we basically hung out with Bob Gale for about half an hour at his booth, uh, showing him my collage and talking about it, talking about Back to the Future and stuff like that. And uh, then I finally was like, uh, Mr. Gale, please sign this for me. And he was more than happy to do it. He really liked this piece. I, I hope he didn't, like, at first think that I was, um, you know, trying to gift this to him. Because uh, that would have been very awkward. But I don't think he did. So, anyway, he signed this. He really enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, we talked for about half an hour. And uh, it, was, it was really cool, man. One of the best memories of my life. That's why this has a not for sale si uh, price. If anyone really wants to buy this, they can. It's missing glass for obvious reasons. It's kind of hard to film things with glass, so... But this is a shadow box. Uh, it, things look much better with glass in front of it because it kind of pulls it all together. But, uh, yeah, if anyone ever wanted to actually pay $2,000 for it, they'll be donating uh, from their name, not my name. Uh, they will be donating $1,000 to the Fox Foundation, and I'll be getting the other 1000 for letting go of one of my favorite pieces in the house. But, uh, yeah, so far, it's still mine, and I'm quite happy about it. <laughs> but yeah, let me show you the back of it so you guys can get some info. Alright, so there's the back of it. There you have my website, my Yahoo, um, and here's the information about the Michael J. Fox Foundation. If you guys can, just go there right now and donate whatever you can. If you're, especially if you're a Back to the Future fan, it's a good way to uh, contribute back. This is for that hoverboard that's in there. Just wanted to make sure that certificate for it's there. It's just a card, but um, but yeah. If you guys want to check out more of my art, uh, definitely go to. Uh, here, let me show you. These are some of my other pieces. Got Nintendo, got some Turtles stuff. If you guys want to see more of this, go to Instagram at Nostalgic Art, nostal Nostalgic underscore Art, where you can see a lot more of my work there. There's a Metroid one right here. These are just some of my pieces that I kind of keep around in here. Got another Turtles one right there. Buck Rogers. These are all 3D. There's Predator versus Batman. Got a really cool Power Rangers one up there. Doctor Who. This one I call Scream. Just has all sorts of heroes and villains screaming. It's one of my favorites. This one actually belongs to someone. Um, I sold them a piece and I promised to send this to them as well and then something happened in my life and I forgot the guy's name. If you're watching this, dude, hit me up. Uh, let me know what piece you bought. Remind me and I'll send this to you. There I have a little Batman Year One. And the regular two-dimensional Green Ranger one, which looks like it is three-dimensional. So yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching my uh, Back to the Future collection video and I had to do a little bit of uh, self-promoting there because of my 3D collage for Back to the Future. But uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in any of my art, definitely check me out on Instagram, uh, nostal nostalgic underscore art. Um, you can see stuff there. Send me an email at, uh, you know, nazarloon at yahoo.com. I love Yahoo. Don't, don't you guys make fun of Yahoo. But, uh, but yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video, and, uh, uh, you know, you should be more careful in the future. Peace and love, everybody. I'm out. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit.
Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty, I didn't disintegrate anything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? What about DeLorean?